warm good evening and welcome to it. Did you hear that? Did you hear just before the show opened right at the top? Did you hear Liberty is now bringing you Sport at 10, the trusted leader in investment and uh, well, you know, they are the guys that make absolutely certain that you have the right insurance. Liberty is now with Sport at 10. We're the trusted leader when it comes to uh, sport and entertainment. Liberty is the trusted leader when it comes to insurance and investment. We are now together. We are sponsored and we are excited to have Liberty on board with us. Uh, I'm Thomas Mlambo. This show is going to be absolutely fantastic because we have the right partner doing the business with us. Uh, Liberty. Oh, it's been so long, five years, but they're here and the show is only going to get better and better thanks to Liberty. But now let me move on and uh, introduce you to the first guest on the new show brought to you by Liberty, which is uh, the referee. You will have heard his name. You will know him. He's a record breaker because at the age of 16, he was already doing the MDC, refing professional footballers. It's Fezi Lechope. And we'll talk about his story and the massive battle that he had to overcome throat cancer it's brilliant then looking there at the big signing when it comes to uh, the APSA Premiership and Mummy Lodi Sundowns uh, it is uh, Jeremy Brocky who is here with us uh, to talk about the move away from Supersport you know, it's not a big move you move across the city Jeremy but you are now a Masandawana and then we will go on to talk because before the season now that we're at the halfway stage one of the most difficult jobs in football would have been taking over Orlando Pirates after what happened last season but Micho is now the man in the hot seat we know that six months into the job what does he think he has done has he achieved you can be part of the conversation as well and then we'll get the uh, celebrity into the chair something Soweto it's January Asnamali and it's a good time to bring you into the studio to talk all about that uh, can't wait it's going to be great and we'll check if you know anything about sport um, nani sport boy okay there's the answer he knows nothing about sport but Let's get uh, into the latest news stories. And today, because we have so many amazing guests, we are going to go through the news as quickly as is humanly possible. So this is the speed news for you to get you up to speed as to what is going on in the world of South African and international sports. South Africa today, they did the business when it came to uh, the uh, test match against India, wrapping things up by 135 runs. Uh, the star man was Lungingiti. Six wickets uh, on debut for the Proteas. Uh, six for 30 nine were the figures that he got at the end of the day. Robada was able to take a back seat as he only uh, uh, got three wickets for 47. This all means uh, with those celebrations, as you look at Lungingidi, the 21-year-old on debut doing the damage against the Indians, that South Africa have wrapped up the series. Uh, we've won the series against India 2-0 and uh, they cannot do anything against us now when it comes to actually winning the series. Moving on from that new story and let's uh, stay South African and how proud we are of being South African. Let's talk a little bit about Casta Semenya because Casta Semenya is absolutely one of the star athletes in South Africa and she has been nominated for the Laureus World Sports Awards Women Athlete of the Year. She's up against some great comp competition uh, in tennis. It's uh, Gabin Moguruza. She's up against Serena Williams. Uh, and she's also up against uh, the 19-year-old swimming sensation, uh, Katie Ledecky. There's also Alison Felix, uh, who's an uh, uh, athletic superstar herself. There's a world champion skier in Michaela Schifrin. These are the competitors, but we know. Casta is in amongst the best women athletes in the world, winning the 800 meters of the World Championships uh, and getting a bronze medal as well in the 1500. So she's nominated and they will be getting out the awards on February the 27th. Casta, we are holding thumbs for you. Bring back uh, the uh, Laureus uh, World Sports Awards uh, Women Athlete of the Year, please. Judges, get it right. Get Custer the award that we want there. Now, moving on and staying with women's sport and some record-breaking performances. The Australian Open tennis is on. You know that it is. And when we look at uh, this young lady here, Ukrainian superstar, 15-year-old Marta Kostyuk uh, became the youngest player in 20 years to reach the third round of a Grand Slam tournament. Uh, the last time it was done was back in 1997. And you know what had changed for her? Overnight, she's gone from uh, having 81,000 rand in the bank 
based on the winnings that she'd made. 81,000 before the tournament. Now that she's in the third round, she has 1.4 million already rand that comes from just getting to the third round at 15. That is the kind of quality that uh, we're seeing there from Marta Kostjoka. Now, we're happy with that. We're going to move on to the last story that I have for you. And that story is one that's very sad for me because I love football. And this man is one of the people that made me love football even more. Ah, oh, Ronaldinho at age 37 says he's done. He just enjoyed football. He smiled all the time. That pass when he looked the other way. I just love that. And the awards and the trophies that he's won. He's a former World Footballer of the Year in 2005. He won the Champions League in 2006 with Barcelona. A World Cup winner in 2002 with Brazil. Ah, oh, Ronaldinho, I wish you could have played forever. You are just one of those players that just made us fall in love with the game. But he says it's done. He's retiring. He's hanging up those fantastic boots and we will never, I can honestly see this, see another one like Ronaldinho. Let's go on to what's going on as far as the Premiership is concerned. There was one match tonight and that encounter was this one that we're going to show you. The goal that was scored and that saw Matsatanza move up the log table as Maritzburg United took on Supersport United. And the final result going Supersport United's way and moving uh, Matsatanza up the table. As we look at the chances that happened, it it was always going to be a match that had a lot in it. And then, well, this uh, Fadulai David's coach team has plenty when it comes to uh, the ability to attack and to counter. And they also have the most solid defense in uh, Premiership football. But today, that defense was pierced. And on a few occasions, there were scary moments as Modiba flashes one wide on that occasion. You look at it, you'll see that eventually it was the same man who was going to be able to find the net. There he is, left alone in the box. Aubrey Mudiba, 78th minute of the match. Maritzburg United defeated at home. Supersport United put behind them the poor form that they've been showing of late. But now, let's move on, because it's time for South Africa's one and only sports comedian to do his very first heavyweight of humor, knockout shampoonizing on the now Liberty-sponsored Sport at 10. So... Shampoo you are at liberty we, to say exactly what you are. You are at liberty to shampooize. We are at liberty to talk about <laughs> teams that lose at home. Um, I love that. See, you know, we are so at liberty to speak. But now let's sponsor. I'm telling you, you know, let's sponsor. Oh, my God. Thomas, uh, I'm telling you right now, Ndoro is back. Mm. We let our but court. you know, the, the sponsor, they are two Saga investment. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeans with holes from now on, Wabon. You'll mm -hmm. be able to mm -hmm. invest mm -hmm. and... With liberty, Thomas, your jeans won't have holes in them anymore. We are moving with the times. I'm not so loose. Oh. We are moving with the times. Give I, a Yeah, give a shin. Do you more hard so? I get the temperature give over 40 percent degrees, so we have to actually rinse my suba. I can't even Thomas. Yeah, no, I'm at liberty to do whatever I want. Ndoro is back. Ndoro is back, and he scored. And I knew why he was scoring because Ottawa Middle East never met up. Because I'm a passer. We say Allah, Allah, Allah. I want to have more fans. Vroom. Much in general, what's going on, my guy? You can't be. There's no way you can give the same reaction when you are winning and when you are losing. We can still live our way to our lives, celebrate. We're just doing the same thing. We're winning the machine. We can't be tested against soft and very relaxed about our daily lives. But so much energy, fear, fear, fear the whole time. No man. But talking about Kaiser Chiefs, Thomas, did you see the picture with FNB? In a little brown here. Yes, yes. We can't even have a photo with our wives. We can't even have a photo with our food. We can't even have a photo. Everything come wait it like a tag and tell them like FNB make a plan of it. What are you challenging about? When you know, I remember when I'm way to that, what are you going to run? Then they do change the game. But you know, it was bad. Kaiser Chiefs, Mazatia Giboni, they have like very young players, ne? Like Maywa is like 18, 18 years old. Rumors has it were one of the conditions that I was saying, but Mudis they were over there, are chalet, were fail. Okay. Kupa Jessica ba date ya kago metric dance like ba na ba na li 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 demand za ba na ba kupa li lozi za za ba na all the time but you know I want to talk about something else Thomas bo bo hold up it don't resolve kabuye lo ay 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 kabuye after losing to Pirates the fans were still in the stadium singing kabuye lo people are like oh my god yo ba na le passion kando they didn't believe the game was over kabuye mudi lo munga remes the third half kabuye Remember that I'm like a ballet jail. You know, parents were, were celebrating. Ugar, when they celebrate, they just dance. Ugar, they bought the team. 
Pazela bio amla dhasi. Nongle driwa. Sundance fans, Sundance by Jilish. No stories. Defense as Sundance, I exist. I think. Kur alena defense Sundance. I want if ngebe lele condom. Just says defense. Ngebe rne lemo matadeng wana. I wanna defense ko Sundance. Kur ugar scam. But defense ugar mosquito coil. Always mosquito coil come. Mosquito coil span sa wana kur unse mushi you drag. Uruwa le mi nangyo sa uruwa ulum. Like Sundance, no. No, but Jilla Sundance. Why is it a scam? It's a scam. It's a scam. I hope you have a boneless chicken. Like, Ali exists Sundance. What was going on? Oh, woman. Baba Jill, why is Baba Jabu Sira Sundance? 3 1, 3 1, 31 reasons. Pirates, you won people. The last time you guys won, you won a star. That was way in 1732. Like, Kale. Now it's like, yo, Sundance, we are celebrating. I see we have a. Uh, Matasela, Matasela on an injury and we're saying, Lia Nakesho, I do pronounce. Meniscus, what's the one? Injury, meniscus, meniscus, cascas, cascas. Matasela, I know you don't know. Marco, in the knee, boy. It's in the knee. Meniscus is there, it's there by the knee. Okay. Can I summarize it for what Marco guys? Ah, Bamloi. Like, Thomas, let us not get. Complicate the and everything, you know. For people with injuries, people complain. I have a video here that shows that no matter how injured you are, you are uh. regular with conditions or Utahula Leona injury. So inspirational. This is inspirational. Look, look, bon. he doesn't have arms, bon. and he's uh, doesn't have legs. Bon but yeah, yeah, look at him. Hey. Allah, Allah. We need we need to discuss this and person or Muhammad. We need to discuss a mutual Muhammad. You kitchen. Come on, are discussing the person or Muhammad who are playing with the ball? For but that is how we are. We are playing with the gabus. Fezile, yellow card nyana there, Mr. Ref. Hey, we'll talk to him about it afterward. What are your questions uh, for uh, Micho as well as Jeremy Brocky? It's as simple as that. They're the guests coming up. What do you want to say to them? Give your comments. We'll try and get some of them in as we speak to them. It's going to a break time. And after the break, we'll talk to uh, Fezile Lope, the referee who made a stir in 2016 by being the absolute youngest man ever to ref a professional football match in South Africa. What's he been up to the last year? You'll find out after this. to answer. Mary? Mary has a toothache. Oh, I see. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will rise up and raise us all? Young man doing a big man job. Tackle there. He's really calling the shots, and I like that. He's commanding the respect. But I want Bangvisa Madala. Fezile Lopez here in the studio with us. Fezile, welcome to Sport 10. How are you? Um, good. Thanks, Thomas. Good evening to the viewers, and thank you for welcoming. It's been a while, eh? 2016. Broke into all the newspapers, youngest referee to referee, professional football in South African history, Bona 16. What have you been up to? Uh, well, it started Ekasi, obviously, uh, having to officiate uh, local games, uh, community games as well. Uh. Yeah, until I reached that uh, standard where I can now officiate to be in a professional. So, I'm Jelly. 2016 February, you've now, you Balila Matesti, you are level three referee, but Biza Uti Oza, MDC game. It's your debut, professionals now. W what kind of players were there? Like, who are the names that you are now at age 16 who keep on my yellow card? Uh, there were a lot of uh, PSL uh, players who Jinga played Hubani, for... Boy, like, China. Like Brilliant Kuzwayo, Godinho, Lakibaloi. And Bajelwa Uwe? 
Yeah, you know, they had, they had to listen to me, you know. Kanjani? Like my every, my level of my who apply my roots. So who refri, very? Yeah, so who refri, I had to, I had to, I had to. Official, very, very, very. Like, it's not a joke, right? We're not playing with South Africans. We who refri. No, no, no. We are not playing with any any person in South Africa uh. who's watching now. Uh. No, it's this guy you always see, maybe once or twice in a in a TV officiating. Uh. It's, yeah, it's, it's it's something in there. Le in there. Like I said, Thomas, it's uh, uh, a kasi, having to be part of less the community since like as a child as, as I grew up, I once became a soccer player before I I, I reached. Refereeing, then it had to go to some uh, some circumstances whereby I had to stop a little bit, and then had to continue. But you know, it, it, it all started at Kasi, you know, with this. But the old lady will not be worried, you know, to Sakul. Yeah. Good day, Lena. I not it handy for a cool. Boshane comment. Yeah, you know, like like Nisha Thomas, like Nisha. It's 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 something a Kasi, you know. Being passionate from at a young age of six years, you know, liking like everything men's are with sports. Uh. Like you know, after Zwane, like you know, those big guys I used to call after Zwane, after Zwane, you know. Uh. Angela, but then, but, uh, this, you know, you know, as uh. a player, but not as a referee. Then as time goes on, I had to become a referee. I, I, I needed something to do else besides being a player. And that, and because that happened. The other thing about you. Fizzy, you, you say there were those circumstances. 2012, your life really changed, and refereeing also helped them. What happened to you that year in 2012? Yeah, I had, I had to stop uh, Isoka, but uh, before I stopped Isoka, I, I once volunteered the class as being a referee at the age of 11 years. Mm. Uh, when I went to, 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 to the hospital, I was diagnosed with cancer a little bit. Uh, I throw why is, why is Yeah, I had to go to Espelier. How long? For a period of two years. What's Espelier for two years? Yeah. In and, and out? In and out, in and out, checkups, radiation, a lot of transi transitions at the same time, you know, just to keep, my, to keep myself mm. me, me, me fit, me sharp. I had, I had to go for, for, for a treatment. So after two years of treatment for the cancer that you had, we are Poma. You now back at home. E you still want to be a ref after you've you've gone through all of that. Yeah, like I've said, the positive mind of me before I entered this place was uh, the refereeing thing. I, I I had that thing. I like I've said, I've officiated as a, as as I'm volunteering in in my in my township in the south. You know. Uh. Then that's when after you know hospital thing, I had to tell myself, no, no, no. Since I'm not fit enough to be, to be a player, uh. let me be a referee. I won't be taken out for my car and stuff, you know, mm. or any injuries. Because since my body is not fit enough to be a player, I then decided, no, let me continue with the refereeing, the refereeing part. You know, this is something that will keep me moving mm. besides the, 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 the soccer thing. Yes, then I've continued, you know, people praised me. Until I've reached sort of football association, where now things started to change, started to change. I've met the instructor, I've met the chairman, I've met a lot of guys, uh. yeah, who are who are there that made me to be possible. Then I've met such projects like Disky Nine Nine, who kept me going, 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 pushing. Uh. I've met uh, the, 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 the the likes of APSA to also be part of this this whole. This whole thing of me refereeing. And you're gonna keep telling that to show you on Kintia will refer like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the moment, yeah, I'm working with the, the Adidas for a year. Uh, yeah, back support and a con. Yeah, they're sponsoring me uh, this thing. But what I want to know is, I haven't seen you for a year uh, out there blowing the whistle. You're 18 now, right? Yes. Yeah, so. Push and manage. Yeah, for a period of 2017, it's been a quiet uh, season for me. I've been not officiating due to the fact that uh, it's, it's been a tough journey at school. Remember those? Scaly. Scaly. Yeah, it's scaly. What's your tough journey? It's scaly, boy. 
Yeah, like in background, um, since I was diagnosed with cancer, I never had the chance of learning Gathe, so I needed to pick up for grade 11 and to continue until grade 12. Mm. So the period of 2017, it was that, then involved in a, bit, a little bit of medic stuff, mm. just to keep myself in a different side, aside from me refereeing. So the future, what do you want to do? Is refereeing still what you want to do? Um... In future, like, like um, I'm interested in being an entrepreneur since I'm studying commercial subjects at schools. Also, oh, yeah, yeah, get ref, get. No, I'm, Are you no, announcing like a retirement? I, I, can, I can tell you, I can tell you. For you, many, many of our referees, they are engineers, they are doctors. Uh. They do refereeing at the same time as uh. well. But I can tell you, I can become an entrepreneur while I'm a referee, even if I'm, I'm what age. Uh. Until until they will say no, this is the time for you to end this career. We are no, we are satisfied by you. Then that's when I'll, I'll end, you know. But there's there's a full part of being like a, to continue with the career. It's, it's a good thing for me. I wish to be there. I wish to officiate in PSL, not only part of MDC, but it's part of PSL. But just to be there, you know. For me, it's it's something I've always dreamed. The, the experience of God, it's different. Career-wise, I want to be there. I want to continue refereeing. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to run an ambulance business. I want to be... Who's the best referee you've ever seen? Ah, for me, we are all the best referees. Ah, we are Balega, daughter. Ah, we are Balega. Because now, if I can say, this is the best referee, we, well, we all do the same job. Uh. The, the difference is how we approach. How we approach our matches. When I miss the red card, I need Sometimes <laughs> There he is, Fezi Lechope. Yeah. Thank you very much for being on Sport at 10. All the best. It's good to see you looking good. And all the best with matric this year. And we'll put my arm at distinctions. Yeah, no, thanks, Thomas. Thanks. Yeah. There you go. It's time for a break. After the break, Mami Lodi Sundowns' new man, Jeremy Brocky, comes in to talk about the move to Mami Lodi Sundowns. And also, where have the goals gone, Jeremy? Only one goal in the league this season. We have to talk about that. It's coming up after this.